This is our sawmill planer build. Um, pretty simple. Basically used acne rod, acne nut underneath there. And then we just splashed in rod as feel like using I wasn't I wasn't sure exactly how I was gonna build everything and I only bought a three foot chunk of rod so I kind of limited my design without splicing so we ended up just piecing on a three-quarter inch rod um, and then these two are there's one on each side same setup just a better lighting here a simple bearing on the bottom and then sprocket on top cheesy idler I just welded a, a bolt to the frame and tightened the chain and then tightened the snut I don't know I may refine that further down the road um, I need to get a crank this is gonna be the operator side it's gonna be going uh, right to left My cutter head Underneath here. I've got it all wrapped up in ceram wrap so we don't chip a carbide tooth um, But that will be spinning clockwise. I Do need to find a stepped key Let's see if I get this to Focus it's kind of hard to see but the the um, slot on the planer Head is just a touch bigger. Um, I don't know what this is. This is this is what the planer head is, and then the this must be like five sixteenths, I think, and then the pulley is quarter. So I'm gonna have to see if I can locate a, a stepped key. This is a five horsepower three phase motor. We're spinning at thirty five hundred. Um, we have a four inch pulley going to a two and a half, so it's not going to quite double the speed. We should, I'm, I'm shooting for around 6,000 RPM. Um, I believe that's where I was supposed to end up. I did a little bit of research, but it's been a long time. I bought this planer head probably two years ago on sale. Um, Grizzly was running a sale on it, so I bought it and it's been sitting in my shop ever since. Um, but yeah, this is just the simple lowering and raising mechanism. Just a simple screw. It's a little tight, I need to adjust. I have some plastic here and I was just gonna do bolts but then the two sides weren't staying um, parallel with each other so I ended up, um, and, and just, I needed to bolt, I needed to weld it together anyways, tie it together so it, they both, sides came up evenly or else it's gonna have binding issues but I can I can still kind of play with the um, amount of slop in there a little bit but uh, it's a little tight still need to figure out where where what's hitting um, and then this whole assembly will slide obviously these belts should go in there that's something I'm gonna have to look into but they're really loose they're the wrong size, just something I found laying around, but they're really, really loose and I don't have, just have a simple stud going up with a, a nut underneath it and I'll use that to tension everything. But then this whole assembly, because um, it's a 20 inch planer head, this is going to slide back and forth and this will allow me to um, plane 36 inches wide which is what I can um, cut on my sawmill as well as run through my wide belt sander so I figured I thought about going bigger but I thought well let's just stick with this because um, that's kind of what my other limitations are um, a lot of grinding I by no means profess to be a good welder so a lot of this needs a little bit more welding some of this I just tacked and then some of it just needs polished up and then we'll probably paint it once we get all the kinks worked out of the system um, as far as rollers as 
found some bearings and um, I've got a little lock washer on the inside so it's not rubbing there and then the bolt, um, the nut I guess rather snugs up against that. We're gonna see how well it runs. I may end up putting a fender washer on the outside, another spacer and then a, a fender washer or something that'll help keep it on the on the track but I think this is close enough that everything should ride pretty good um, we will be able to um, adjust the pitch of the planer head if we need to get stuff lined up properly I'm sure I'm sure stuff will be a little out of whack so It'd be just a matter of putting spacers, little bushing shim in between here and the frame on our pillow block bearings. Um, these rods, it's about an eighth of a turn, rather an eighth of an inch per turn. So um, I think that should work pretty good for, for doing slabs. But uh, anyways, Definitely open to comments, suggestions, criticism. I will be the first to admit my welding capabilities are pretty pathetic, but there's a few decent welds and then there's a lot of a lot of bad welds too, so definitely gonna need some grinding. Just ran my first couple passes. This is just an old slab we milled up here the other day. Something nice and thick that I can clamp onto it and I didn't want it squirreling away on me so I was able to clamp some meat anyways um, got everything wired up I'm using this old old starter because that's what I had on hand I'm gonna order a new one um, as this it works but I'm not super impressed with it um, it's it's actually missing the Heaters, if those of you who are familiar with these old ones, they have a little coil that basically, I believe it's how it works, trips if it overheats. But uh, anyways, we're getting a new one of that. This is all needs covered up. Um, brilliant me, I went and was not paying attention to which direction the teeth were facing and just built this. This is, I don't know why I wanted to pulley on on the the left side here um, for some reason I don't know why that was in my brain but that's what I did anyways not paying attention to which way the teeth were rotating so I went and wired it up three phase it's a 50 50 wouldn't you know it was backwards but I think originally it was probably right and I was originally thinking of running it like my sawmill which would be right to left um, would be forward Anyways, my head is backward, so I panicked there for a bit. I thought I was going to have to... I, when I built this, I started bolting stuff together, but then the farther along I went, I started welding stuff, and to switch that around would be a royal pain. Um, so anyways, we are now going to go left to right, um, and it does work. These guys are... In a helicopter and they're replacing there you've got these big power lines going here so it's they're replacing a lot of the pieces up top but they're using a helicopter so you can listen to that all day anyways um so it was spinning the wrong way or at least what i thought was the wrong way and i tried to go forward um it just started smoking or no i saw i i I saw it spinning the wrong way, so I'm like, oh, I don't want this to self-feed and shoot across the slab. Um, so I flipped it back, tried it, and it just started smoking. I'm like, eh, something's not right. So I went and looked at it again, and that's where it was. The teeth were facing the wrong direction. So now we're gonna go left to right. Um, we'll fire it up. Uh, right now, I just have this little clamp to keep it from uh, sliding back and forth, and then Originally, I thought it was going to be rotating this way, which would um, create torque. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure, 100% sure. The motor has enough weight that it's definitely not going to, you know, pick the, the planer head up. 
but I, I'm, I'm wanting to come up with some design to keep it from shifting side to side and then also from picking it up if you know if I was really hogging off something but maybe that's not necessary anyways we'll fire it up here real quick I'm super impressed how I just love electric um, I know Logosol uh, makes one of these with a gas engine I think Wood Misers is uh, electric but everything just runs runs so quiet um, so these Acme threads, once again, they're an eighth of an inch per turn, so I'm basically just doing one turn. And I'm going to stop killing myself. I must have went up. Whoops. Go down around. This thing makes a mess. I'd, I'd, I'd like to get a dust collector hooked up to it, but that'll be down the road. Um, you can't really see it, but I'm feeling a little bit of, I think, what's chatter. It just scalloped, um, but it's leaving a pretty nice finish. This stuff is wet, too, so I don't know if, if that has anything to do with it. But anyways, that's kind of our initial run. Um, I am super pumped about this. I still need to figure out. I'm not. This head isn't going over as far as I wanted it to. We're about ready to touch here on the pulley. I don't know if I can do anything. I'm kind of stuck with my bottom pulley can only go over. That's that's kind of my um, factors about how far I can go over. Uh, this side I need to notch out it was supposed to be these this piece right here was supposed to be long enough that it could slide underneath that tab there but I'm like an eighth of an inch too short so I'm gonna have to take a grinder and cut that out anyways um, definitely needs a few um, things polished up on and whatnot but so far I'm really happy